ready for the clouds to clear up. Yeah, it's kind of cloudy here. Oh, are you baking some water? Uh, no, we're using that bubble as a magnifying glass. I want to see if we can oh. make that light bounce all the way through and heat up the other side. Sweet, man. And then there's our original. Uh-huh. Get her clamp closed. Yeah. Sweet, man. Lit. And we're looking at, is it 109 right now, huh? Yeah. Not bad. That's good. Good job, Haley. How you guys doing for staples? Still got some? Yeah. Oh, you got a whole box. Sweet. Yeah. I have to lend them my eyes. That's where we need the... Uh... Right. Huh, Tristan? Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Fix the air, some air seats. All right, you can feel it hot coming out, huh? Yeah. Please, is that what it means? Yeah. Rather not. 196.8, 197. 96. Oh, 146. All right. Sweet man. That's getting started. That would. That the heat that warm something up, wouldn't it? You got it buckled down good. Guys, what you gonna do with that? This is supposed to be on the plywood. How we doing? Uh, is... Gonna give it a reading. I think it was at 100. And... Get some data over there. Our data's on that sheet. Yes, that guy did all the math. Show me your data to that. Coffee, coffee spill. It's looking good. I put shut, huh? Oh, I see. That's how you're gonna go from the side, huh? Cool. Nice. That'll seal it up. Yep. I put shut. Then you just get just get a piece of rope or something on the other side and yeah, lash it down. I was gonna drill a hole up right here, and then probably do like half a screw on this side. Yeah. And then just you got it. Nice loop. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, sweet guys, looking good. We're gonna, oh yeah, well, before you do that, actually put markings on the wood on each side of the bracket because we gotta put it on the bracket first. We gotta put it on the wood first. You want to mark where the bracket goes? Over here, where these brackets line up on the wood. Let's do exactly what we just finished doing. There you go. The cool PV. But you'll notice that this is the insulation that we all grew up with. This is the insulation that's in all of our attics. But I see a problem. This has 123 degrees. Well, this is something that the Department of Energy says we should insulate with. This is what NASA uses. NASA designed this product right here in the 60s for the Apollo project. This right now is on the International Space Station right now in space. What happens is as the International Space Station gets in front of the Earth, in, uh, in between the Earth and the Sun, the shielding on the spaceship gets 250 degrees. 250 degrees will melt lead and boil water, right? That's incredibly hot. When the space shuttle gets behind, or the space station gets behind the Earth, in the darkness of space, it goes to 250 degrees below zero. Absolute freezing. That's a 500 degree swing. NASA doesn't use any of this insulation. This is all it uses. So we can insulate your home or your office or your school with this. It's incredibly inexpensive. 
It's non-toxic. It's easy to recycle. Animals don't poop or nest in it. It doesn't get gross. It's easy to install, and it's totally green. It's from America, and you can recycle it. And you can see it's about 10 times more effective, even for a little bit. Cool? That's number one. Number two, right here, we have one, two, three, four electricity meters. These electricity meters are EMI, electromagnetic interference. You know what this is. You just didn't know that you knew. If somebody vacuums, maybe you can see it on the TV or hear a blow dryer on a radio, right? That's distortion. You don't want distortion. These meters should only say one or 200, but what do they say? You say 1,300 and 1,700. So we're going to show you what that does to a motor. So here we have a 5 amp air conditioner motor. So let's check our math. We have an amp meter. I see about 4.4, 4.38. Well, this is what we buy, guys. We buy watts. So volts, 120 volts times 4.3 amps is 520 watts. And that's what we buy, the watt. So right now, this motor is $36 a month. He's $36 a month because of all this distortion and these amps. NASA designed this little green guy. See that little green guy? He's called an X2. They designed the X2 for the Challenger project in the 80s. Watch what happens when we add a NASA Challenger project product to the system. Now we went from 4.4 amps to 1.2. We went from 1300 and 1600 to 200. But remember our watts? We went from 500 watts to 100. We went from $40 a month to $10 a month. So this motor will run cooler, quieter, last longer, and charge his owner about $30 less per month while this lasts longer. Cool, huh? These are the light bulbs that we've all been using. You guys grew up with this light bulb. The older folks here, we grew up with one that was called incandescent. It got really hot. They asked us to take them away. Well, this little guy says 27 watts. If his package says 27 watts, what should this say? It's a watt meter. It should say 27 watts. If this says 27, this should say 27. So let's see what it says. Let's check our math. Well, he started pretty good at 29. Oh, wait a minute. 42, 43. Wait a minute. It says 27, but it takes 45. He costs almost a dollar a month more to run than he should. So we all thought we took out 60s and put in 27s. You didn't, we put in 46s. So what am I saying with all this? He's not near as easy efficient as we've been told he is. And he's absolutely so hot right now that he'll burn me, okay? Would you like to see a NASA light bulb? So we'll wait for him to go to zero. He takes a second, he's wireless. Come on, baby. Engage for me, Daddy. Okay, now we'll add the NASA technology light bulb, and I want you guys to tell me what that meter says. What's it say right now? Zero. That's all it's ever going to say. So do light bulbs get hot? They get super hot, don't they? Would you grab this light bulb for me? Would you touch it for me and tell us what it feels like? It's cold. Not cold, but cool? Yeah. Who'd like to grab it? Grab it for us. Tell us what it feels like. Houston. It never gets hot. So this light bulb takes 0 0.06 amps. 0 0.06. So this light bulb takes only a trickle of electricity, not even enough to register, and will fill your house with beautiful, healthy light for years. Also, the last thing I'll show you is watch what happens when you add a non-NASA light bulb to these meters. See these guys? They say 1,300 now. Look at that. Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. They went from 1,300 to 1,600, right? Yeah. Watch what happens when you add ours. They go down. So this guy adds no more to To your load center. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Nice.